Hello class, this is a video tutorial on the derivative of inverse functions part one. In simplest terms, to differentiate the inverse of a function, well, we first find the inverse, and then we just differentiate as per usual. So here are the three examples here. Um, you can pause the video and give it a go yourself. So remember, we're going to use it. Um, the simplest way of doing this is to find the inverse first, and then differentiate as usual. So here we go. So for this, I'm gonna um, start by finding the inverse of this function. We're gonna let it equal x equal y to the power of five plus two. Now we make y the subject by, by doing the inverse functions of this one here. So it'll become x minus two equals y to the power of five, which means y is equal to the fifth root of x minus two, which I will write this as x minus two to the power of one fifth. Then from here, we can find the derivative of this inverse by doing y prime is equal to one fifth x minus two, one fifth minus one is negative four fifths times the derivative of the inside here. Well, the, the derivative of X is just one. And this will simplify down to Y prime equals one over five uh, X minus two to the power of four and it will be the fifth root. That's as plain as it can get. It's very simple, and um, yeah, you can, it's a very simple idea. Find the inverse of the function, and then we differentiate. So let's find the inverse of this function here. X equals Y squared plus four Y plus five, um, subtracting five or moving five to the other side and now we are going to complete the square on this one here so half of four squared is plus four so we add that to this side as well so the left hand side becomes x minus one and then the right hand side becomes y plus two squared. Continuing from here, we get plus minus uh, square root x minus one equals um, y plus two. So we get now y is equal to negative two plus minus x minus one all square root. Now from here, to make this a proper function, we can't have the plus minus. So from this point forward, we could just have two different derivatives. So we could have one function being negative two plus square root x minus one, or we can have y equals negative two minus x minus one square root. Okay, so now from here, Take the derivative. The derivative of two is, well, zero. The derivative of this will become uh, one half x minus one to the power of negative half, which simplifies down to one over two square root x minus one. As for this one, if we were to find the derivative, it's near identical. It's going to be the exact same thing, but it'll be negative one over two square root x minus one. Okay, so hope you can see it's very plain and simple. We just find the derivative first, and then we differentiate as per usual. Whoops, let me just move this a bit to our left. Oh, sorry, to my right. Okay, you can pause and give the last one a go yourself.
All right, so here we go. So differentiating this, oh, sorry, um, finding the inverse of this function first, we get x equals one over y minus three plus two. Finding the inverse of this, x minus two equals one over y minus three. I'm gonna multiply by this here. So it'll become y minus three x minus two equals one. Dividing by this one, we get y minus three equals one over x minus two. And then now we can just add the three. So we get y is equal to one over x minus two plus three. Now from here to find the derivative of this one, well, for this, I will rewrite this as y is equal to x minus two, all to the power of negative one plus three. And it's this that I will find the derivative of. So y prime is equal to negative one times x minus two to the power of negative two. The derivative of plus three, well, that's just zero. It leaves us with this, which we can simplify to y prime equals negative one on x minus two squared. So I hope that gave you an insight into finding the derivative of inverse functions. Hope to see you in the next video where we learn a property of inverses in order to find the derivative of them in a different way and sometimes an easier way. Hope to see you then. Best of luck.